hi hello and welcome to my channel um if you are new here my name is lydia and i am a aspiring disney vlogger um, and this video is going to be all of my pre walt disney world trip purchases so um for the last month or so i have been making small little purchases um, at the end of the week in preparation for this trip so some travel things things for my vlogging and just some random things in store out of store um, so we are going to take a deep dive into that we are a little over two weeks away from our Walt Disney World vacation it is a girl's birthday trip we are staying at Art of Animation um, and we are hitting all four parks I have divided everything up into five different categories clothing travel essentials tech miscellaneous and um, like accessories accessories um, so I am going to start with the accessories first I just want to apologize for the ring light and the glasses um, I'm working with what I have um, we do not get a lot of natural light at our house so I'm in our bathroom I hope it sounds okay um, I have the ring light set up and some questionable way um and we are making this work so um the first thing the first two things i wanted to show you guys um are two pieces of jewelry that um i purchased at tj maxx let me get that tag out of the way that i purchased at tj maxx last week and it is part of the disney bubble bar collection and i got this um little mini ears necklace that has rhinestones on one side and then the other side is gold so you can change them out and then i purchased this um if you can see it it is it does not want to show it is a um, mickey ears that is also um you can turn it over and it is just plain gold so um one of these um i will be wearing and the other my friend brennan will be wearing um she paid me for one set or one necklace but we can't decide who's gonna get what so that is the first item in the accessories category the next item i got this from walmart it is just a headband um we are all color coordinating for our ohana's dinner and we're doing like pinks and oranges and red colors so i have a dress that sort of matches this and um a pair of um high top platform converse that i'm going to wear with this headband um i haven't tried it on yet the whole outfit but um that will be in my packing vlog but i got this at walmart i think it was about ten dollars a couple weeks ago so the next item is another set of necklaces um i'm sure that if you are on amazon and if you have ever looked up gold necklace you will have seen this one um this is a k for my last name cormulus and then it came with another layering necklace um I have wanted this for about a year now and finally have the excuse to buy it um i will link everything that i mentioned down below um in the description and you can click that link and go purchase whatever you find that you like the last thing in the accessory category is this flower claw clip um if you watched any previous vlogs um specifically my christmas gift vlogs um i have a matching one of these with all of my sisters we are taking another trip in may um and so we all have matching um claw clips and this is mine and it matches the bag the um, bag I'll be taking so that is going to complete the accessories category of this video okay so the next category is tech items um, and I bought another set of backup batteries and a backup battery charger I already have one set that has three batteries plus the battery that came in my camera so I now have seven batteries um, I just want to be prepared so um, that was um, my first purchase in the tech category I just want to be prepared I don't want to go and um, my batteries all die while I'm in the park so I have seven batteries that will be ready to rock and roll on this trip 
The next item is a 128 gigabyte um, SD card. I already have two <laughs> 128 gigabyte SD cards, but if you don't see a theme here, I want to be completely prepared. So I think um, I cleared off one of my SD cards last night and I think they hold four hours and 45 minutes of footage. I'm sure that I won't need that much, but just in case, I now have three SD cards that I will be carrying with me on my trip. The next thing that I purchased in preparation for our trip is um, the fuel rods. We have had one before and lost it. Um, I have a few different portable chargers, but I love the idea of not having to charge this and being able to just exchange it when I need a new one while we're in the park. So. Um, if you buy these on Amazon, they're cheaper than in the park, and the more you buy, the cheaper it is. So I think I paid, um, split between um, my friend Brennan, $17 per fuel rod, which is a fantastic deal. Um, and I've heard like little whispers that it's anywhere from a dollar to three dollars sometimes to exchange it. But after doing a little bit of digging and in my own personal experience, it is still free. So do with that what you will. So the next item that I purchased in the tech category is um, this wall charger. It has four different USB um, plugins. There will be four of us. I vlog. Um, one of the girls takes pictures and so um, I just wanted to be uh, very prepared. Um, I know at Pop Century, which is where I call it my home resort. Um, they have tons and tons and tons and tons of wall outlets. But when I've done some research on art of animation, it doesn't look like they have as many. So I'm taking this and then I will be taking like a, um, what do you call those? I don't even know what you call them. <laughs> I'll think of it and pop it in. Um, power strip. I'm going to take a power strip just in case. Um, hopefully we won't have to use it, but if we do, we'll be prepared. But everything that I have seen so far, um, like picture wise of Art of Animation, there are not many options um, when it comes to like plugins. And again, name of the game is preparation and being prepared. So my last item in the tech category is going to go together. It is two items, but they will be put together to make one. Um, I bought myself a new phone case. Um, it is like a pink sparkly case. Um, I got it on Amazon. Everything mostly is from Amazon. Um, and then I got a sparkly clear um, pop socket. Um, I want to get some ride videos. Um, and I don't know how comfortable I feel taking my big camera out on rides. Um, and just in general, a pop socket will make me feel a whole lot more safe um, carrying my phone around. So um, I'm going to put these two together, obviously, and um, use those in the park. I'm very excited. It's been a minute since I got a new case. So that those are the last two items in the tech category. So the next um, category is the miscellaneous category um, and the first item is some gum. They do not sell gum anywhere on Disney property. So um, I went ahead and grabbed myself um, a three pack. I think I'm going to give Brennan a pack. Um, she went with me today and we picked this up and she said this is some of her favorite. It's my favorite. So um, we will be good on gum for this trip. Okay, so the next couple of items are going to go in to one bag and it is my first aid bag. Um, I picked up some headache relief, um, some migraine relief, um, and I like to keep that just in case. I got some extra moleskin because your feet uh, are so important and my last trip in November was the first time that I have ever had to use moleskin and it like changed the game for me. I also picked up some Neosporin just in case. I was joking with my friend and I said it feels like we were preparing for war um, walking down the first aid aisle at Walmart this afternoon. and. Uh, that is just what it feels like. It feels like we we're preparing for war. Um, and then the last item is just some motion sickness medication. Um, 
I am a motion sickness girly. I hate it, but um, I get severely car sick. And then there are just a couple rides at Disney that really just like kick up my motion sickness. So I already had, I think a f almost a full pack, but just in case. I know one other girl going with us also gets motion sick. The next item is some makeup wipes. I don't usually use makeup wipes, but I decided to splurge a little bit and get some for the trip um, because that's much easier than the full trying to wash your face. I know that might be gross, but I don't wear a lot of makeup anyway, so it would just be to you know, just do a little touch up. So I went ahead and got some makeup wipe removers. Makeup remover wipes. <laughs> I need to get a new battery. Just a minute. Okay, I am back. New battery is in. And we are on the last two items that I'm going to couple together in the miscellaneous category. Um, some contacts. Um, I normally wear glasses. Like... At home, work, I'm always wearing glasses. It's just easier. I am allergic to what contacts, most contacts are made out of. Um, so we have found me a brand that works for me. So I went ahead and picked up a pack of those because it is so difficult to wear glasses in Disney. I just hate it. It gets hot, it gets sweaty. So I did that and just a travel thing of contact solution. So those are the last two items in the miscellaneous category. We are just rolling right along. So the next category is travel essentials. Um, I um, decided to buy some waterproof um, bags. Um, and so it came with two of these smaller, they're a little crinkled, <laughs> two of these smaller bags. Um, I don't know quite yet what I'm going to put in these. I know that maybe for the smaller bags, I'm going to take those into the park with my camera and stuff in them. But, um, these two smaller bags, um, two like medium sized bags, two a little bit bigger size bags. I think maybe these are the same size. I don't think they are. Two more of these size bags and then um, two very, very large bags. So um, these were very affordable. I think they were $10. Um, so I'll definitely link those down below. I don't know exactly what I'm going to use these for yet. Um, but I know that I wanted something um, waterproof, especially for like shampoo conditioner all those kind of things um i think you could probably pack some shoes in these bags um, but we're gonna figure this out together in my prep and packing vlog what to do and what to put in these so my next item has multiple items inside of it and I, this i think i'm the most excited for i have never had packing cubes before um so that was like the top of my list for this trip um so it Everything came in this bag. Um, I don't know if this is showing true. It's like a cream oatmeal color. But when you open it up, well, there's a missing miscellaneous. I got some bobby pins. Um, but it opens up into this like toiletry case um, or a makeup case. Don't know what I'll use this for yet. And then um, inside this bag, it has all the packing cubes. Um, again, I am an affordable girly, so everything is super, super affordable in my opinion. So it came with this bag, and then this small little bag. Um, interesting. I haven't really opened this up yet. I just did like a quick little glance at it when I, if I can get this open. <laughs> Um, this would be a good tech bag. Oh, okay. Okay. So there was this small bag and then this small packing cube. Um, I cannot wait to use these. I've heard so many good things. Everybody like loves packing cubes. Um, so we're going to see what the hype is for. And then another bag that same size. I'm probably going to put some undergarments in that. And then um, there's the next size up. Two of those. And 
and then two very large um, packing cubes. So I'm really excited to use those packing cubes, see what they're all about. So the next item in my um, travel essentials is this um, personalized fanny pack. Um, I did this craft with um, two of the other girls going on our trip. Um, unfortunately, I think this is gonna be too small. When I had originally done this, I did not have a big camera yet. Um, so I do not think this is gonna work for me. In the parks at least, I will definitely take this out to dinner, but uh, this was a fun little craft and I can't wait to use it day to day. Super excited about this. Love it. Um, I have multiple of these bags, this brand bag. This is not the Lululemon brand. Um, it is a dupe. It was, it's a very affordable dupe. The, I have the Lululemon brand same exact thing um so love this i will absolutely link this and the patches down below and the final item in the travel essentials is this cute little jewelry box um i put another one of those patches on top um with super glue this was again so so affordable um, it has a place for your necklaces that will go down in there some earring slots and some ring slots um i'm super super excited about this um my jewelry i either wear it or throw it in a little bag um so i'm really excited to get all my jewelry and stuff put into this the final category and most definitely my biggest is clothing um the first item a little awkward but this is how I do Disney I love to buy underwear and socks before I go on my trip so I picked up a pack of underwear um it, it's just so nice just to pull out just a brand new under, underwear never been worn um so that was um that is an every time I go to Disney World purchase, like my big trips. We normally take, since my husband and I have gotten married, um, we take our big trip for our honeymoon and our anniversary so far, and then we have taken another small trip in the fall. So I normally buy new underwear and socks for the big trips. So this is my first big trip of the year. The next item is I got a new sports bra at um, Target a couple nights ago, a couple days ago. Um, super excited to wear this um i just bought it because i needed one so i just thought i'd mention it the next items in the um clothing category are um these uh, it was a pack of three different micro shorts these are like a brown color they look like when you bleach a black shirt that brown color um so there was that one this off-white color they're ribbed if you can't if you can tell i'm gonna try and um get like quick little clips of everything that i've shown you guys so you can see things a little bit more detailed and up close and then this black pair um of ribbed biker shorts i love i only wear biker shorts in disney it's too hot to wear leggings too hot to wear jeans the next few items are just a couple pairs of like dollar socks from walmart um and then i have some other socks um i think i bought three three pairs um i have some other socks obviously i don't not have socks but i have another couple pairs of socks that i'll throw in there um or i may pick up some more dollar pair i have no idea so the next three items are all the same thing it was a pack of three sorry if you hear a rustling <laughs> i'm just gonna throw those over there i'm not gonna grab them all out of the bag but they are these black biker shorts um i have a three pack that i bought for my anniversary trip last may um that are three different colors these are my favorite biker shorts i think that i saw someone in another disney prep packing whatever vlog um equate these to lululemon i don't know i've never owned a pair of lululemon leggings or biker shorts so those um i'm super excited about those so this next item was also a little uh, craft if you want to call it that um that i did with um brennan and we both got matching um star wars t-shirts from walmart and we just bleached those we had a fantastic time doing that um we got them really oversized i think that these are going to go so cute with those brown biker shorts that i just showed you um so that is one shirt that i have purchased i'm gonna 
I didn't buy all new clothing for our Disney trip because that's just too expensive and who has time for that? So, um, I have one other shirt that I bought for this trip and then I have a couple others that I bought. I bought a shirt in November I'm taking. All of that will be in my Disney packing and prep video. So the next t-shirt that I bought was from the Lost Bros um, and it is, it, I can't tell if you can see, um, but this Happily Ever After shirt, um, I was put on like a pre-order and waited weeks and weeks for this shirt. I'm so excited but Happily Ever After, my favorite, favorite, favorite um, firework show is coming back. Um, my husband and I went in September of 2021 and watched it at as what we thought was the last time um, and we were both so excited that it's coming back um so i bought that shirt because i could pass it up i love happily ever after this necklace i'm wearing is um was a gift from my twin sister um when we found out the news that happily ever after was you know donezo or so we thought um she bought me this let's flip backwards um from joe and co goods and um she said that so i would always have a piece of happily ever after so if you can't tell, love happily ever after. So I have two more items and we are done with this video. There is this dress. Um, it is an orange dress. It looks like it's wrinkled, but it's not. This is the kind of material it's supposed to be. Um, this is the dress I am wearing that headband with and the um, Converse that I'm gonna show you. I'm super excited, haven't tried it on yet. I cannot wait to try it on. Um, but I bought this dress on Amazon and it has pockets. It has pockets. The final item in this video are this pair of light pink platform I've worn them twice and already got them dirty I'm gonna clean them obviously before the trip or but are these pink high top platform Converse um, these are what I based my whole Ohana's outfit off of I'm so so excited about these um, shoes I love them they're so cute they're so comfortable so um, I cannot wait to put that outfit together and see how it looks. That is it for our Disney World pre-trip haul for our up and coming um, Walt Disney World vacation. If you liked this video, please like, subscribe, comment. Tell me, do you guys buy things before your trip or is it just me? Do you guys have a basket that you like hoard things in in preparation for Walt Disney World vacations or just vacations in general? Um, subscribe click the bell for notifications i have weeks and weeks and weeks of disney content coming your way um i looked at my content calendar before i sat down and i'm out through june with my next two trips packing and prep videos travel vlogs and all of uh, all things like that so if you like disney please subscribe. We have so much coming. If you don't like Disney, um, we do a lot of non-Disney things here. I say we, I'm married. Um, I've been married for almost two years now and um, we have two dogs, um, but we do uh, lifestyle videos, weekly vlogs. So there is something for everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, thank you guys for commenting, liking, and subscribing, and I will see you guys real soon. Thank you.